everyone it's your girl paris and i am finally back for a new video thank you for sticking with me and always supporting my channel so in today's video i had another fun video idea and i'll be showing you all how to make this beautiful flower arrangement right here so me and my mother created this flower arrangement right here for my cousin's birthday and gender reveal celebration and the room turned out so fabulous and if you're into design creativity you're very hands-on then this is the perfect video for you to watch it's all about having fun being creative and letting those creative juices flow um if you are planning a birthday event a bridal shower event gender reveal whatever event you are planning try to make your own flower arrangement it isn't that hard i promise and i'm going to share with you all my technique i hope you all keep on watching and we're going to jump into the video right now okay so right now we are going to place this gold and yellow tissue paper in the vase in order to begin our flower arrangement and right now what my mother is doing she has her hand like this under the tissue paper so go ahead and place it in the vase and next we're going to push it down more but we're going to put the block in first Okay, so I'm gonna come over and take over that portion. But so far, here is what the arrangement looks like. It looks a bit crazy, but bear with us. It's a work in progress. All right, I'm stepping back in. Now we are going to place dry foam at the bottom of the glass vase. We already pre-cut the dry foam from this bigger portion right here and I'm going to place it literally in the middle of the vase. Now what we're gonna start doing is pressing in the tissue paper around the perimeter of the vase into the corners. Now that the dry foam is in there, that tissue paper is going to be press against that dry foam. Each corner of the vase, you're gonna do this. Okay, so next, we're going to grab all our beautiful flowers right here. Let me move this out the way. So here are the flowers we decided to go with. And I am going to start with this beautiful one right here. As you can see, we bent the stem in order for it to fit this, I guess, height of the vase correctly. We didn't want it to be too small because then it wouldn't look right. So you're literally going to place the flower stem in the dry foam. I'm gonna stick it in there. to purchase a pair of wire cutters and that can also be purchased from like your local Michaels or Walmart in order for you to easily cut the stem because it is made from a wire material. You're gonna stick this one right next to it. Just apply a little bit of pressure. All right, here is the next flower we are going to place in the dry foam and this is a really important flower because this is like the focal point this flower is beautiful it hangs so we're going to place it in the front of the vase stick it down in the dry foam apply that pressure light pressure make sure it's in there all the way all right so we have three flowers all together now and this is called a filler it's a eucalyptus plant we're going to place this right in the middle to add more green 
to the flower arrangement. And that was pretty easy. Let me see how it's looking so far. Okay. So far, so good. And now I'm going to start pushing my paper further in. Now that we have most of the flowers added in the arrangement. And instead of bunching the paper in like this, we're going to actually go inside the boss to do this. As you can see, it's coming together very nicely. And then I'm just going to add the remaining two filler flowers. I'm going to take this particular one fit in the very back of the arrangement. I'm going to fill for the dry foam and I'm going to stick the flower in the dry foam. Here is our next filler flower right here. I want to place this one. Probably. Okay, we are halfway to the finish line. Okay, we have our flower arrangement right in the middle. And now we are going to grab these beautiful wooden beads. These are so popular for decorative purposes in your home, but you can also incorporate them into your flower arrangement. And that is exactly what I am about to do. So I'm just naturally gonna place the beads on the charger. Not in a particular way, I'm just gonna maybe just let it flow. And I'm gonna come around the front to see how it looks, so I have to fix it. Uh, let's see. So, no particular way. All right, so again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're going to be moving on to our next item, which is very important. And it's going to make the centerpiece fully come together. And here are some pre-lighted candles, which I love. And if you come a bit closer, you can see that it is a frosted candle. And I really do recommend the pre-lighted candles. I personally do not want to have a real flame, especially in a venue. So I definitely recommend pre-lighted candles. And we're just gonna turn that on. Okay. Okay, so for this particular flower arrangement, we chose to lay out the candles like this. So we have the taller candles in the back and then we have these very cute candles which are going to go in the very front i'm gonna turn those on right here and it's perfect perfect i love how it's how it looks let me come in the front one more time okay so you definitely want to view your arrangement at all angles and I think it came out so beautifully. I'm not quite done yet. I have a few more things that I'm gonna add to our flower arrangement. If you come a little bit closer, we are going to add these cubes, these square cubes to the board as well. And I have plenty of them right here. It's not going to be in any particular order, but I'm going to just place them randomly on the charger. Maybe two right here, one here, and then I'll place one back here. So during our particular event, we had a circular table, so the arrangement was 
you know, seen from this way, this way, in the back and in the front. So all angles look good. And I'm literally just going to rotate the arrangement so you all can get a 360 view of how it looks. We are almost done. We are going to add these filler in beads right here. And these are really pretty. And we're literally going to place them with this side showing and you do not want to just, you don't want to throw them on the board. You just want to place them on the board like so. Check out this board. I am so happy with it. It brings a smile to my face every time we look at it. And we had a blast at the event. And people especially love this centerpiece right here. Flower arrangement. Everything about it I am in love with. And this was a very, very easy, budget-friendly way to make your own centerpiece um, for any event that you are having. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it because as always, I enjoy filming my videos. And for this particular video, it was creative. It's sparking those creative juices in your mind. I know you can do this for your next upcoming event. Let the ideas flow naturally. I know you can do it. Me and my mother put this one together and all together for the event that I was sharing with you all, it was a total of, I believe, five to six arrangements. So with time, patience, and just effort, I know you can do it too. So if you have any further questions, please feel free to comment down below, message me, I'm always here. And as always, thank you for watching. It's your girl Paris, and I love you all so much. I'll see you all next time. So I'm not with nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me Still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody Yes, I'm hurt, yes, I'm dead